Impromptunes acknowledges that this podcast is recorded on the traditional lands of the Boonwurrung peoples of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging and celebrate their enduring connections to country, knowledge and stories. Impromptunes, 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 impromptunes. Do you hear the people improvising? Good people of the world, thanks for tuning in to Impromptunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. Now here they are, the cast of Impromptunes. Hello and welcome to Impromptunes, <laughs> the completely improvised musical Woo-hoo! podcast. Woo! I'm Morgan Phillips and I'm here today with uh, two very esteemed guests, uh, Holly James. Hello. Morgan, this is the most formal introduction I've ever had on any Impromptunes. <laughs> Don't ruin it, Holly. Oh, sorry. I mean, I mean thank you I'm, so much for inviting me. I had uh, this it's a whole, pleasure to be here. <laughs> thank you. I have this whole plan that I want Impromptunes to be taken seriously now. Uh, we are a very and serious so, business, uh, yes. I'm just trying to like set the tone from the uh, yeah, uh, yeah. onset. And Alexia Brinsley. Hello, Morgan Phillips. Thank you for introducing me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, and also, we have with us here someone who I've been told is uh, knows his way around a musical keyboard, uh, Hayden Dunn. Yes, uh, Hayden Dunn. Sorry, I mean, excellent work, Hayden Dunn. I don't think we can pianoforte. sustain this because you you're losing the, every second sentence, Holly James. I am. I'm so sorry. I've been away and I'm so happy to be in the studio, uh, even it's, though it is, we have to tell others, approximately the Earth's core temperature in here. It's actually I, 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 so hot, in fact, because we can't have the aircon on because it, it, it's noisy. Too noisy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to go and wet my t shirt and put it on. So it's basically a wet t shirt contest up in here. Make it that, that what you will. Maybe the least classy thing that can be happening. I think you're podcast. winning so far, for yeah. sure. Uh, I mean, it's. I'm about to start sweating up a storm, so I may take over in the wet t-shirt. We'll contest. let you know at the end who's won. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so, <laughs> another thing that's been happening on the podcast recently is that. Um, <laughs> so I just got distracted. Emma was giving us some notes. Emmett is also in the room. Yes, bringing uh, a high. On the tech desk, he trying to steer the show from his own seat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he just can't take his hands off the reins. Um, <laughs> and now he's whipping us. Okay. <laughs> My uh, whips are the worst too. They hurt the most. <laughs> anyway, My. in relatively recent news, actually pretty old news now, uh, some of ah, Impromptune's yes. uh, <laughs> predictions have been coming true. We did a podcast about uh, Elon Musk in space and him crashing a rocket into onto the moon, I believe. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, we actually, yes. We did that exact podcast and now it's happening. Uh, so. we, we, we actually post on our socials the because the other thing was to do with um, Mark Ruffalo, right? Lex, yes. You, Lex is a huge fan of Mark Ruffalo. I love him so much. Um, no, it was something else. I posted it. What was it? Oh. Okay, we'll find a great story, everybody. We're going to post on our socials. There's at least two podcast episodes that have reasonably come true. We are, in fact, the oracles of life. <laughs> yeah. It was the movie um, Don't Look Up. It's pretty much the exact same. And it's got Meryl oh, really? Streep, who featured... Holly James, you played Meryl Quite Streep. Heavily. naturally. Yeah. And she she died after going to space. Oh, like, spoiler. Yes, spoiler. Yes, spoiler. Yes, spoiler. Sorry, yeah, for anyone who's... Uh... So it seems like the shakers and movers of the world are listening to Impromptu Change the Podcast. And listeners, you are too, so congratulations. Yes. Um, also, you're Elon... one of the shakers and movers of the world. Elon Musk, if you're listening, uh, which I know you are, please, <laughs> if you want to become a Patreon, we'd really appreciate it. <laughs> you know, anything. I hear that uh, the average amount a Patreon gives is something like uh, $2 million? Yeah, 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 like a day. Month? Yeah. yeah, per month. Yeah, so, I think that's uh, about right. Yes. So that's what normal people give Elon Musk. I'm not sure if you want to do that or, you know, raise it up, up a bit yeah, higher. Always. Completely up to you. Um, um, anyway, this is a musical <laughs> theatre podcast where we make up an entire musical on the spot based on a title we get from the listeners. And I've got... Um, uh, we assemble all the titles that we get, we write them down on pieces of paper, uh, and we put them into a bucket that we call the Bowl of Destiny, <laughs> and then we pull one out, as I am doing right now. Morgan's and on his tippy toes doing it. That's how excited he is. I'm so You're excited. Just, like, on, it was very, I actually have very a thing cute. where I always like kind of lean onto my tippy toes. Well, it um, shows your excitement for what's going <laughs> Apparently. It's good posture, I think. Here we are. Uh, maybe I just really want to be in heels. <laughs> The time my dog was stolen from outside Northcote Plaza. (laughs) (laughs) Julia Smith. That's the title, not just the full synopsis of the story. The time my dog Dog was was stolen stolen from outside outside Northcote Plaza.
Now, Morky, I don't want to shame you for being a person uh, no. here, but I do believe it's pronounced North Northcote <laughs> instead of North Coat. And every Melbourneian just like <laughs> crawled in a hole and screamed. Um, uh, but I think it's going to be called North is Coat. Well, I've also like been North calling Coat? it Malvin and Malvin. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Malvin, yeah. Um, uh, and also like. Reservoir. Pra- Reservoir. Praran, yeah. Castle Main. Castle Main. Um, I literally was talking about Castle Main. I stand by that you should say things the way they're spelt. And so. Yes. Uh, I mean, maybe some people who are listening don't know. So Castle Main should be Castle Main. Reservoir is Reservoir for some unknown fucking <laughs> unknown reason. reason. I still have my mouth about that one. I'm like, it was like they're like Reservoir. <laughs> like there, is there something really cool what in Reservoir? Way cooler than a Reservoir. If you live there and there is something that makes you go reservoir, then let us know. (laughs) And never make friends with Irish people. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, the title this week, for the first, the last time ever, the time my dog was stolen from outside the Northcote Plaza. You grow a really long beard and you wear a hat North of the river, that's where you go If you want your facial hair to really grow North of the river is the place to be With all the street art, it's so pretty North of the river is really cool If you dress real nice, you make the fellas drool Not south, not east, not that's right, it's north of the river, north of the river, north of the river's the best. Not, not south, not west, not, 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 not west. <laughs> That's yes. right, north of the river, north of the river, north of the river's the best. North of the river is where you can wear anything funky and fresh. North of the river, you know you go there to get the coffee, that's the best. North of the river is the place to go where everyone's pretty cool. And north of the river might be quite windy, but you want to be there if you're feeling indie. Not Not south, not east, not 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 west. (laughs) It's north of the river, north of the It was a day like any other day in Northcote Plaza. People were smiling, dr- sipping their soy lattes and eating their breadsticks. <laughs> it's a real festival of ASMR in Northcote Plaza that day. Yeah, I'd been down on my luck for many weeks now. I'd been hanging out on Northcote Plaza just waiting for something to happen. As a private investigator, <laughs> uh, my life was a bit boring in a otherwise mostly crime-free suburb. <laughs> Maybe I should move down to Malvern or Armaydale or one of those southern suburbs, but I just can't bring myself to leave the streets where I've lived for the last 25 years of my life. <laughs> Suddenly, someone came over to me from northernmost corner of the Northcote Plaza, which is how it works. She was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Oh, hi. I saw you standing there, talking to yourself, making observations about your surroundings. Ah, she knew how you'd like to say everything I thought in my head out loud. (laughs) Amazing. Yeah, it's me. J- Jonathan t- Two Lattes. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi. I'm Susan. Susan. I knew that from the next thing she said, <laughs> which is the most beautiful se- s- sentence of words I've ever heard in my life, that I, I was going to be a fast friend with Susan. The first thing I noticed about you was your posture. 
You seem to tip forward on your toes. Beautiful words, those ones. <laughs> so intriguing. <laughs> hey, I usually see you come by here, Susan, with a dog on Monday afternoons. Are you some sort of private investigator or something? That's exactly what I am, Susan. I'm a private investigator for oh. crimes in Northgate. Wow, that's so exciting. Susan, I remember you. We went to high school together. Oh my god, take off your hat. Yes, I recognize you now. Yeah. It was such wow. a big it's been detective such a long time. fedora. I can't, it was so nice to see you. Actually, it makes perfect sense that you're a private detective. Because you were always so private. Yeah, and I always was so investigative whenever faced with a crime in high school. When Jimmy stole your pencil. I tracked him God. down. It only took me two and a half years, but I tracked Jimmy down and I got my pencil back. In basketball practice, was, you used to listen to the vibrations in the ash fat of the, of the balls. I did. I tried playing basketball blind. I was terrible. But you got better. You, you put work in. Yeah. By the end of the year, I managed to shoot a basket just the one time. I remember. Susan, I gotta say, seeing you like this is bringing up all my, all my fond memories of what it was like down at, back in high school with all our friends. I guess a life before crime of, of Northcote, you know? Yeah. Back in Northcote Plaza High School. <laughs> Things were so much simpler there. What's Jonathan doing again on the basketball court? He's just got his ear to the ash vat. It's so weird. I know. I think he's listening for clues. Sometimes they come to him in audio vibrations. But every time I ask him what he's doing, he won't tell me. He's so introverted. He's, he's so, so private. private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are really interesting times. Maybe times when, like... I remember you had a dog that you lost back in high school. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Susan, where's your dog? Hey, I was just about to ask you if you've seen it. I haven't, sorry. No one's seen my dog, Lucy. <laughs> the schnitzel. The schnitzel. It's been a week now, you know? A few days it's normal for a dog to go missing, but I don't know where he's gone. You know, you could ask Jonathan two lattes. Do you reckon he'd help me? I think he would. Damn it! Another missed basket! Why can't I play basketball blindfolded? Hey, Jonathan. Oh, Susan. Hi. I, uh, sensed you coming through the vibrations in the ground, and also my bl blindfold's off, so I saw you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually wondering. I know I haven't talked to you ever, but I was hoping maybe you could help Wait, me. Wait, you don't... We had math last semester together. Do you don't remember me? Oh, God, I didn't recognize you. Wait. <laughs> Susan, Sorry. I know you're popular, but jeez. Get him to take off his hat. Yeah, I was about to say, take off the basketball hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know you now. Oh, yeah, look, my dog's gone missing, family dog Lucy. I'm, I was hoping that you might be able to help me find her. Susan, <laughs> I've been giving up the life of investigating. I'm trying to be a world-famous blind basketballer. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, then, well. No, yeah. wait. For the sake of maths class last semester, I'll do one last case for you, Susan. One last case. And who knows, maybe it'll reignite my passion for solving crimes. Thanks so much, Jonathan. One last case. One last crime to solve. Just like the pencil that Jason stole. I don't know how to go through my life. Unless I've got some kind of strife But now I've dedicated my life to all All that comes with being blindfolded and playing basketball And now you come here like this With one wish And now I've got one last crime to solve I've got one last crime to solve 
I may only be 15 years old, but I've got one last crime to solve. I've got one last crime to solve. I've got one last crime to solve. I may only be 15 years old, but I've got one last crime to solve. Yeah, sure, I was in my heyday in year nine. I stopped a crime. Yeah, I got Jason expelled once he stole my pencil. And there was that time that Johnny Margarita, he went on a crime spree. Uh, he broke into the us room and painted the whole thing blue. Well, I confronted him, took him outside, said you can't do any more of these crimes. And then he stopped, he gave it all up, and now I have to go back to it. One last crime to solve, I've got one last crime to solve. I may only be 15 years old, but I've got one last crime to solve. One last crime to solve. I got one last crime to solve. I may only be 15 years old, but I've got one last crime, one last crime to solve. No, I didn't see anything. I was there at Northgate Plaza and I saw the pooch, and then I turn around and the pooch is gone, but I didn't see anything else funny. Or silly, or strange. Beth, come on. I know you're holding something back. You can trust me. It's, it's me. Oh. <laughs> I'll just take off my hat. Why were you wearing a sombrero anyway? <laughs> no. I know, no one remembers me from last, last semester's maths class if I'm wearing a hat. I don't know what it is about that class. Oh, you helped me with my algebra. I was really grateful. Anyway, Jonathan, no, I'm being completely truthful. <laughs> Totally honest. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe if I try... Maybe you should ask Johnny Two Shakes. <laughs> You're Johnny Two Lattes, but... It's... <laughs> or, you, or, or, you, or you could ask uh, Maria Sizzle. <laughs> Maria Sizzle. Or maybe I should... Uh, maybe maybe I should ask jo Johnny Two Two Takes. <laughs> Johnny Two Takes. <laughs> or maybe I could ask Johnny Two... two... Rakes. He's Two very rakes. good at cleaning up the leaves. <laughs> uh, so many Johnnies in this school. <laughs> it's a very popular name in Northcote Plaza in the late 80s. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there'll be someone at that American elocution class that we all take that I can Yeah. Ask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I didn't see nothing. Hey, you, kid. Yeah, how you doing? You don't recognize me, do you? Uh, no, Look, no. I'll take off my hat. Here oh, I am. It's, yeah. it's me, Johnny Two Shakes. We Touchakes. were in maths together. We were in maths right. together last semester. Oh. Now we take uh, that American elocution class yeah, together. Yeah, I love that American <laughs> elocution class. Oh, God, I'm getting so good at the New York and Brooklyn. I know, Brooklyn I know. Sometimes accent. I miss my old, old Australian accent <laughs> that I used to have. Yo, I'll try and swap back onto it. Oh, good night, mate. No, I hate uh, it. It sucks. I'll, I'll try to. Uh, good night. No, no. We've you're, been doing this for too for long. Good. <laughs> Man, stuck. the things they teach you at Northcote High School. Yeah, they love us to practice. It's so, <laughs> so intense. What, uh, what do you need, man? You got your book? You got it? You writing notes on me? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, I am. Susan's dog got stole. Oh God, Susan the. God, no. Yeah, Susan, the the popular cheerleader. Yeah, God, she's she's so great, man. I'm so. Oh God. Why um, is she so great? Tell me about it. Well, just the way she walks. Oh uh, yeah, the way she so walks. So graceful and and powerful. It is. One time I saw her. Uh, she she someone like dropped uh, a whole drink bottle in front of her and it was going everywhere and she was about to go stand in it but instead she pulled a ribbon out of her bag and did like a whole uh, ribbon like, gymnastics oh, the, yeah, the rhythm dance in the around the water and didn't yeah. get wet at all. It was amazing. She's, she's so just, graceful. She's crazy like that. Sizzle, 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 sizzle,
<laughs> ah, it's Johnny Touche. It's Maria oh, Sizzle. Maria Sizzle. Maria Sizzle. Everywhere I go, I sizzle, 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 sizzle. Always a sausage sizzle when Maria sizzles around. How do you know that? Oh wait, take your hat off. It's you, Johnny Touche. Two lattes. Two lattes. Um, what can I do for you? Hey, look, Susan's dog's gone missing. Just checking if you've seen anything. No, I didn't see nothing. No one says they didn't see nothing unless they saw someone. Hey, I'm telling you the truth. Ask everybody. Hey. <laughs> I didn't see I nothing. Didn't see. Did, did, did Maria Sizzle see something? I didn't see nothing. No, but did Maria Sizzle see something? I didn't see nothing. Okay, everyone's being very nothing. unhelpful. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see I nothing. I didn't see nothing. Nothing around here to see. Should call. Tell me something you didn't see. I was sizzling down the street and I didn't see a man pass by. Okay, what about you? I was just making some bread and wheat and I didn't see nothing slide. You tell me, what clothes didn't you see them wearing? I was walking along the road and I didn't see anybody resembling a toad. <laughs> and I was also on that same street and I saw nothing, I promise. I was just eating my eggs. I said, I didn't see nothing. Uh, yeah, you did say I that. I didn't see nothing. I remember. I didn't see nothing at all. Sure, 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 sure. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. Someone else you should call. Okay. With a dog. I was saying, everyone come and have a latte with me. And I saw this pooch dragged away. No, wait, that I didn't see. <laughs> okay. And I was also with him that day. And that man with that dog that we didn't see, nay. He took the dog on a leash. Right. But I didn't see anything else, I swear. Freedom of speech. I didn't oh. see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing, I didn't see nothing, nothing at all. At all. I, didn't I didn't see nothing. nothing. I didn't see nothing. Someone else you should call. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing at all. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. Let me get this straight. You didn't see a man that didn't look like a toad walking <laughs> down the street who didn't have a puppy, mm -hmm. but you didn't say hi to them, and uh, they went down that street. That's that right. right I told you, nothing at all. Jared, what's that under your shirt? Nothing, Mum. It's, it's moving, just my, Jared. It's my toad-like features. No, Jared. Wriggling under my wet T-shirt. <laughs> Jared, this is different. Normally, yes, you are saturated. You are unfortunately, uh, you know... Blessed you're, you're, with the looks of an amphibian, yes. <laughs> your torso, look, there's a lot going on, and I've said before and I'll say it again, you are blessed. Mum, why couldn't I have got your genes? Why did you have to marry a frog? <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about your father like that. You know that he likes his proper name of amphibian. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... More versatile. <laughs> Mom, it's nothing, okay? Ruff, ruff. Jared, you have a dog under your shirt. <laughs> I can you... see the tail. Oh, right. Let the yeah. dog out. <laughs> oh. oh, he's very cute, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's Tags and his name's Lucy. Oh, hi, Lucy. Look, Mum, I don't have any love in my life and you married a frog and I was thinking maybe I can marry Lucy. 
god. <laughs> Someone just yelled, you can't, but I, I say, I can. <laughs> well, you've never been one to have limiting beliefs, darling. No, you can't have limiting beliefs when you look like a toad. <laughs> you have to believe in yourself inside and out because the rest of the world won't, Mum. Jared, I just have one question. Did you steal the dog or was it given to you or... Have you stolen the dog? No, there was it, no. There was an attraction between us. It, it. <laughs> I, I saw it and it wanted to come home with me. <laughs> All right, I can accept that. No one stole anything except my heart. <laughs> All right, Lucy. Uh, this is Gail. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I knew you'd be understanding. You've always been so great like that, coming from a non-conforming relationship, <laughs> non-society conforming relationship. I knew you'd understand being your only toad-like son and all. Love love is an international, inter-species sort of uh, thing. Yeah. I've always said that. You have. <laughs> All right, Lucy. (laughs) Should we have a family game of Monopoly? Absolutely. (laughs) Love strikes when you least expect it From across the street Love strikes when you least expect it And makes your heart beat Love strikes when you least expect it And comes in any form Love strikes when you least expect it And you don't have to conform to society's beliefs Love is mine, finally Oh, love is mine And the world will see Oh, love is mine, finally your love story, Mum. I love this story, son. Right. I was just a girl walking round the pond in the northern suburbs of Footscray. Walking past the pond, I saw something jumping round and I just had to say hey. It was on a lily pad looking beautiful like your dad always looks every day. It was sitting there staring at me with his no hair and I just had to say that baby love. to you that you wouldn't succeed that you couldn't live with a frog in the weeds oh people said to me that bestiality was pretty bad and i kind of agree (laughs) oh and people said that you must conform you gotta do what they say or your love is wrong people rejected us from society but we are together in this family good love I just gave my heart and soul to the last pod, Holly. You absolutely did, but do you know who I want to give my heart and soul to? The people of Melbourne. That's right. In the form of improvised musical theatre. Exactly, because from the 31st of March to the 24th of April, we are performing once live again live. Live in Melbourne. It's going to be fantastic. The Comedy Festival is back, and so are we. We haven't been here since last year, so come and check us out at 7.20pm at Trades Hall 22, brand new, completely improvised musicals named by you. Last year we sold out, and we had to put on a couple of more musicals. So you better be 
to book quickly. Tickets available on our website or from Ticketmaster. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> I don't know, Susan. The only lead I got in right now is that uh, the kid that stole your dog looks yeah. like a toad. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, anything God. in the kind of amphibian family would be fine as well. But that could be any number of children at Northcote Plaza High School. You're right. Everyone's kind of going for that big forehead <laughs> fat thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's really sexy, and I get it. But, like, man, uh, it's ma- really making my job hard. The only other thing I know yeah. is that 90% of dog nappings are... Uh, are done by a loved one. <laughs> so, I mean, is there... Uh, it's a long shot, but is there maybe anyone that your dog has been taking a keen interest in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well... Think, Susan, think. Yeah, well, I mean, the dog really likes the postman. He, he goes out every day and yaps yeah. and has some sort of a connection and... The dog, um... No, I don't, don't think it could be a postman. It's ne- like almost 0% of dog nappings are done by postmen. Postmen traditionally hate dogs. Oh, wow, that's some strong yeah. statistics you've got there. Okay, um... Well... Think, someone in this school. Yeah. Yeah, the dog, I... I think he did get a little bit of a crush, actually. On, um... He was just acting different recently. <laughs> just before he went missing. No way. Yeah. Real you know, puppy eyes. Seemed happier. Seemed Real that love-sick. had that excitement sort of bubble in his stomach like he like he had met someone. Oh. <laughs> it god, it was it was it was when we were when we were in the north northernest north corner of the North Kit Plaza. Yeah, near the street where everyone was. Yeah, where everyone saw nothing. And um Yeah. It was it was Jason. Jason. Jason, but yeah, he didn't take him. He, he walked away. Well, if he walked away, it couldn't have been him, right? <laughs> he walked in the other direction. Yeah, I guess that's it. Well, maybe this crime will go completely unsolved then. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Susan. I guess maybe I'm not the detective I thought I was. <laughs> Susan, I gotta say, I'm sorry. I failed you in this task. I should go back to playing basketball instead of doing what you asked. But now I haven't solved a crime that I set out to. Maybe my whole life will be set to making this crime right. I'll go through And become the greatest private eye North Kit's ever seen That'll be me I'm gonna be the greatest private eye North Kit's ever seen That'll be me I swear this to you now, Susan. Not another dog will be stolen in this suburb. And no matter what happens, I won't let dogs not get what they deserve. Every dog will be safe in my city. Every pup will live his life free. And I will be the hero that Northcare deserves. I will be the greatest private eye Northgate has ever seen. That'll be me. I will be the greatest private eye Northgate has ever seen. That'll be me. That'll Back in the future. Sorry, Susan. I'm sorry I failed you back then in high school. Yeah, we we never did find Lucy. And not another dog has been stolen. And you know what I found out? A lot of the time, dogs are just at their crushes' houses. 
<laughs> just wow. doing things. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Doesn't Jason live across there? Just on the other side of Northcote Plaza? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Maybe we should just go pay him a visit, just for old you, time's sake. You didn't drop by his house all those years ago? <laughs> no, because we decided it couldn't be him because he just walked away. <laughs> That's right, in the other direction. Yeah, he walked in the wrong direction, so it couldn't have been him. Oh, gosh. But, you know, you never know. We could just go say hi. In the spirit of spontaneity, let's do let's it. Let's do it. It's let's all, do it. We'll make it like a little high school reunion. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We can maybe practice our American elocution together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, it just came back to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> knock, knock. Jason, are you home? Hey. <laughs> Hi. Ribbit. What? <laughs> Jason. Hey, you're looking do froggy I know you? as ever. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait. Just let me take off my hat. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's you. Jonathan Two Lattes. Yeah. I remember you from high school. Yeah, from our maths class we took in yeah, semester. Yeah, yeah. Before you all went on to do American elocution. And I <laughs> yeah, didn't and you take didn't it. take yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> one Weird. Of, one of the few students that opted for French. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you do speak very good French. <laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. Yeah. Anyway. I don't really get a chance to use it here in Northcote, but you never know. There's some wacky stuff around here. We just wanted to, we were just talking about you because we were like, oh, hey, back Susan. in high school. Yeah, yeah Susan. Hi. It was like, oh man, imagine if Jason did steal her dog or that. Wait, who's that behind you? What? <laughs> roo, roo. Oh, and oh, Ribbit, wait. Ribbit, it's my Your Your wife <laughs> <laughs> and my frog dog children. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just actually about to start at Northcote High. <laughs> Lucy, oh my god, I haven't seen you in so long. Oh. Are, you, are you being looked after, Lucy? Are you happy? Are you... Oh, you, you look well. You look beautiful. You, you never came back to me, Lucy. <laughs> look, I'm super sorry, Susan. I saw how sad it made you, but the truth is Lucy ran away with my heart and... I with hers. Hey, you know what? If there's one thing I've learnt, being a private eye for dog nappings, is that if it's for love, there's no crime. <laughs> and look, there's. I want you to meet our family. This is George. He's Hello, <laughs> I'm George. <laughs> this is Sandra. Ahadahu! And this is, well, look, I hope you take this the right way, Susan, but I named our third child after you. This is Susan the Frog Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm she, a frog dog. She speaks fluent French, as you can hear. Wow, it's amazing. Susan, I don't know how you feel about all this. I, I, I feel overwhelmed, I feel excited, and I, mostly I feel a lot of love. Yeah. I mean, now that you're reunited with your dog, and your dog's really lived a whole happy life. And I don't have that empty, burning loss and hole in my heart anymore. I feel ready to, to love again myself. Wow. Wow. I guess I fulfilled my whole life's journey <laughs> of keeping Northkit dog napping free. Wow. I guess your last case is closed. That's <laughs> it. Jonathan, two lattes, you really lived up to the rep. I did. Because you can't steal a dog in Northcote. No, you can't stole it, steal a dog in Northcote. You can't steal a dog in Northcote because of love. No, no you, you can't, can't steal, steal a dog in Northcote. No, you can't steal a dog in North Kent. No, you can't steal a dog in North Kent because of love. Yeah, I've done this for enough time. I know that if there was love, there ain't no such thing as a crime. No, yeah, if you're really happy, you can't blame it on dog napping. And I was sad because I thought things weren't fine, but then I found a dog and love was mine. And I'm glad that you closed your final case. And my heart is beginning to pound and race because you can't, can't steal a dog in Northgate. No, you, you can't, can't steal a dog in Northgate. No, no, no. You can't steal a dog in Northgate because of love. Because of love. You can't steal a dog in Northgate. Yeah, no, you, you can't, can't steal a dog in Northgate. No, you can't steal a dog in Northgate because of love. The day my dog was stolen from outside the Northgate Plaza, my life changed for but now there's a happily ever after And I learned from my mum That love matters even if it's a frog And 
You should love whoever you want to love. Anyone or any dog. dog. No, I know you can't, can't steal a dog in Northgate. No, no, you can't steal a dog in Northgate. No, no, you, you can't, can't steal a dog in Northgate. Because, because of love. No, you can't steal a dog in Northgate. You can't steal a dog in Northgate. No, no, no. You can't That was The Time My Dog Was Stolen from outside Northgate Plaza by Ooh. Julia Smith. Thanks, Julia Smith. I hope <laughs> we didn't make too much light of a quite a terrible event in your life, if this was true. Or made light of having relationships with, with dogs. Animals, <laughs> dogs. I mean, if it's all about love, it's not a crime. Hey, you know? so true. And I'm never going to look at Northcote Plaza the same next time yeah. I go there. So. And you know what? I think we finally succeeded in making impromptus be taken seriously. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Very, we very told a really heartwarming tale. and That was one of the it. most serious narratives we've ever done. Absolutely. <laughs> but actually, so if, you, if, you do, if you do want to take impromptus seriously, you can give us a review, you can tell your friends, yep. you can give us a title, you can become a Patreon. Yeah, especially if you're Elon. Elon Musk. Oh, uh, yes, we take you very seriously. <laughs> um, but very importantly, uh, it's good to know that no matter what you do in Northcote, there's one thing you can never do. <laughs> you no, you can't steal a dog in Northcote. You can't steal a dog in Northcote. No, you can't steal a dog in Northcote because of love. No, you can't steal a dog in Northcote. No, no, no. James here, producer of Impromptunes with Emmett Nichols, director of Impromptunes. Thank you so much for listening to our pod. We're so proud of what we've done over the last three years. Best comedy nomination. That's right. Ooh la la. And you guys listen every week. Some of you do, some of you don't. That's okay. <laughs> We're on to you. We look at the stats. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to support Impromptunes a little more, we would love your support with our Patreon. You can donate as a once-off offer and just cancel or you can <laughs> you become a regular contributor to keeping this podcast running whatever you can give we totally appreciate and thank you so much for listening either way you uh, get to listen to raw and unedited naughty footage of the whole recording and you might even get a little treat or two in the form of some merch so think about it if you can otherwise enjoy the rest of the episode